What Gagarin actually answered Khrushchev when asked if he saw God in space? Everyone knows the story of how N.S. Khrushchev argued his atheistic views. Here, they say, Gagarin flew into space and did not see any God. However, Gagarin's friend, pilot cosmonaut Alexei Leonov, in an interview with FOMA magazine, spoke about this in a completely different way. I remember such an incident. At one of the receptions in St. George's Hall dedicated to Gagarin's flight, Khrushchev asked Yura if he had seen God in space. He, noticing that Khrushchev was asking jokingly, take it and answer. I saw it. Khrushchev became serious and said, don't tell anyone about this. Alexei Leonov generally objected to those who sought to represent both Gagarin and many other space explorers as convinced atheists. I knew Yuri well and I can say that he was never a rabid atheist. After all, he was baptized, by the way, like me, but with that comprehensive control on the part of the party, it was almost impossible to openly believe. And yet, many of us had enough mind and soul to feel that there was something out there. Also interesting is the memory of Valentin Petrov, a teacher who trained more than one generation of cosmonauts at the Cosmonaut Training Center of the U. A Gagarin Air Force Academy. He was friends with Gagarin and visited the Trinity Sergius Lavro with him. In the year when Yura turned 30, he asked me if I had been to the Trinity Sergius Lavra. I replied that I had been, and he suggested that I go there again. We set off the same evening, arrived at the Lavra in civilian clothes, because at that time it was simply impossible for us, the military, to appear in the temple in military uniform, and besides, we hoped to go unnoticed. But Gagarin, of course, was also recognized in civilian life, a stream of people immediately rushed to him, everyone asked for an autograph, tried to ask something, to touch. I don't know another such cosmonaut. Gagarin had an amazingly sincere attitude towards people and never refused anyone. If you turn to him, it doesn't matter whether the first secretary of the central committee or the chairman of the government is standing nearby, he is all yours. In order to still save the astronaut from the ever-increasing crowd, the governor of the Lavra suggested that we go to his cell. Gagarin paused, and then smiled his charming smile and said, Father, let's first go to the relics of Sergius, and then anywhere. After Yura asked me if I felt something when we worship the relics, I replied, yes. Some, Yura, Grace, and he said, you see, it means that it didn't seem to me.